Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface on the beta for Warlords of Draenor. Now a few days ago I brought you a Garrison 101 video on the Herb Garden. This is pretty much a follow up to that because this one today is set in the Lunafall Excavation which to you and me folks just means the mine. Now your Garrisons, doesn't matter if it's Horde or Alliance, have three what I'm going to call compulsory areas. That's the herb garden, that's the mine, and that's also the fishing shacks. This is the second of those three. Now, the mine itself works in conjunction with the herb garden, because when you're placing work orders at your profession buildings, and I have done a professions building video for Garrisons 101, see the playlist which has been created for that, you will need both ore and also herbs with which to place a lot of these work orders, especially as I said, if they are profession buildings. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you down into the Alliance level one mine. So you can get an idea of how big it is to start. And to unlock the mine, you can see I'm actually doing a quest. I've got to clear it out of all the little nasty beasties that are here. Uh, it's I think this is given at approximately level 92, or it has been on the beta. Of course, this is subject to change on the live servers. So I've got to kill eight of the Goron and then deal with Stone Tooth at the end. Once I have done all of this, then the level one mine will be mine without any puns intended on the word mine and I will be able to come in here and actually mine the ore like I did with the herbs even though I don't have mining as a profession. Now, miners that are starting to panic say, well, this is not really not fair because, you know, or, or you know, gatherers that, that deal with picking herbs say, this is not fair. You know, if you can do my profession as a compulsory building in your garrison, what is the benefit to me as, you know, an herb, as a gatherer, or what is the benefit to me as, as a miner? Well, do remember, of course, herbs and mining nodes are all over Dranor. So you can still mine and herb them and you will still get the Dranic seeds or the Dranic stone that you'll get from the garden or from here, the excavation site. So there we go, Lunafall Excavation Level 1, aka the mine. So if I just dismiss my pet because he's rather large and cumbersome, I'm just going to take you inside the excavation site to give you an idea of size. And that way when we boost up to level 2 and level 3, you can actually physically see how it's growing. A couple of other things to take note of as well. On your mini-map, you'll now have the yellow circles. This is the nodes that are available to be mined inside the excavation site. It won't carry on outside of your garrison. So if you don't have the mining ability and you go out into Draenor, the other nodes, the other herbs and all that kind of stuff will not be available for you to touch at all. It's only what's here in your mine. And when you've exhausted all the nodes, they don't regrow for another 24 hours. So you'll notice there, just in front of me, there is a big stack of dynamite, which will probably make you um, or at least draw some sort of hint that that is one of the areas that will get blasted to make larger. But there's all in all approximately about 7 to 10 nodes to start off with, and the mine itself is rather small in size, but you do have all these miners scattered around the place. You'll also notice as well, when you mine both the true iron and also the black rock ore, that you'll get the Dranic stone in them. This is taking the role of the Dranic seeds that we saw when I was in the herb garden. We need to be collecting these to get the level 3 blueprint. So, again, if you want to keep on top of your mine at all times, log in every day and just mine all the nodes that are here. People that already have the mining profession, of course, will be able to get more Dranic stone from the nodes that are around Dranor. So they do have a slight advantage there and should be able to progress their mine 
quicker. You also notice a couple of times when I mined, one of the Goron would appear. Now, these Goron are completely random, and when you defeat them, they will drop more ore for you to gather. It's a little bit like what happened with archaeology in Mists of Pandaria. Okay, so now's the time to push it to a level 2 excavation site. To do that, you need to have the level 2 blueprint. This is just like the other buildings. It can either be purchased through your questing when you're leveling up through Draenor, or you can actually just physically buy the blueprint from the vendor. To upgrade the building will cost 50 garrison resources, 300 gold, and an hour of your time. So there we go, Lunafall Excavation Level 2. So if I just go back inside, let's see exactly what new area has been opened up. And this on the right hand side, where you can just see the dynamite, was completely walled off before. Now, we've noticed that it goes back a fair bit and there is a completely new shaft which stems away from it. To the left, there's a wee little pool with a waterfall coming down. And then here on the right, there's a winding passageway which goes through to what I could only describe as some sort of recreational area for my miners. There's some tables, there's some chairs, and there's a nice big alliance flag dangling down. There's also a lot more mining nodes which you can get stuck into straight away, giving you both ore and also more of the Dranic Stone. Now, let me just break away from the mine for one moment and go back to the architect's table. Because when we did push it to level 2, you'll notice that you can now assign a follower to the mine. So let's do that and see what reaction it has when we go inside the excavation site. So now you see these mining carts which are inside the excavation. Now these mining carts are as a result of the follower that you assign to the mine and you can get some different things inside them like preserved mining picks which allow you to actually mine quicker when you're inside. Although it's not currently working on beta. I'm sure that's just a bug which will get ironed out. But it also gives you a lot more ore and you can also find archaeology fragments inside these as well. You remove the follower, you remove the mining carts. You can't get them back. It's the only way for them to appear. But you just never know what good little items you might get inside them. So if you do have a follower with the mining ability, feel free to use them. There's not too much more to say about the excavation level 2, so let's push it straight away to level 3. To do so, you have to fulfill the criteria of an achievement. In this case, those Dranic Stones I was talking about earlier, you need 500 of them to unlock the level 3 blueprint. Once you have done that, simply go to the blueprint vendor right next to the architect table, purchase it for a 1000 gold and learn it. Do remember though, once one of your characters has unlocked the level 3 blueprint, it will be available for all your alt characters to purchase straight away. Now it costs 100 garrison resources and 500 gold and of course that obligatory hour of your time to upgrade your excavation site, aka mine, to level 3. So, this freshly opened area can be found just to the left of the staircase and then the very first right. And it takes you down quite an extensive shaft which ends in this open cavern which has a small underground river inside of it too. You can crack open your fishing rod and do a wee bit of fishing. Now that of course has absolutely nothing to do with mining whatsoever, but all this area does is open up more nodes from which you can mine from, and also if you do have a follower attached to the excavation site, there could be potentially more mine carts down here for you to loot as well. Get some more ore, get some mining picks, some miner's coffee, some archaeology fragments, and all that kind of jazz. So there we go, that is the excavation site for your garrison. Works very well in conjunction with the herb garden because they both produce the necessary materials to place work orders at your profession buildings which you may create there too. If you're a miner or a gatherer, you can go out into Dranor itself and gain more of the Dranic seeds or more of the Dranic stone in the case of the mine and get way ahead of everybody else so your profession isn't for naught. 
support. So don't worry about that. And I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media. The links are in the description down below. As well as twitch.tv forward slash heel versus babyface for live streaming. And I shall be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.